Emeka Nelly and Ojeda will sit in front of that back line trying to provide some protection and hopefully some transitional moments for the team in the attack. This is a team playing against an other conference team, which means they're going to go out and they're going to go for the result. I saw the shot of teenage goalkeeper and homegrown product for RSL, Gavin Beavers, who is back in to start in MLS play. And we're underway here at America First Field. Glad to have you along on MLS Season Pass. It is the 24th all-time MLS regular season meeting between these two clubs. Luna one more time, 40 yards out from the Revs goal. Has some options out in front, calls his own number, but that's routine for the Slovenian keeper in the end. We had him on the call and there was not even a mention from the RSL PR staff. Would have wished the head coach of the Claren Cobalt a happy birthday. Inside, maybe he'll get a gift right here and big save! From Ivacic. They're going to be really difficult to play against in this last few matches of the season. And Julio somehow kept it there in a tough spot to turn. Kachanis now letting it go. Out in front. Two sides with the save for Ivacic. The follow-up opportunity and it goes wide. Back in for Diego Luna. Long distance. Deflected on the way in. Again, a good solid long distance effort from Alex Kachanis. Ojeda, great footwork to get away from K. Ojeda from distance. Ivacic, another one out in front. The Paraguayan with a chance to make it 1 0, and he does. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. The offside flag. Fortis Pazacos did not hesitate to whistle it back. And you see there. Anderson Julio just a little bit. It looks like a shoulder. 33rd minute. Here's the Spanish captain on the first corner of the night for the rest. Near post ball on the back for Boateng. And somehow Beavers gets the gloves to it. Maybe steal a couple of opportunities to score goals, whether here late in the first half or in the second. There's a giveaway. Revolution already have numbers forward. Shot going to the far side. Somewhat deflected from Barak Terevic. Black stays down. K, top of the 18. Left-footed effort, but right at Beavers. Never really threatening Beavers, but I like the effort from the top of the area. If they're going to give you an opportunity to put your head down from there. RSL trying to keep New England pressed in. Heal, great stuff. And now it's Boateng out in some open space. He gets tangled up in the lanes with Brian Ojeda. And Ojeda, the Paraguayan, receives our first yellow tonight. Ariaga forced to play back. Anderson Julio gets there first. Julio with the chance to open the score. And he does! A bad giveaway in RSL. Make it pay. It's 1-0 Real Salt Lake. But it counts just the same, Heath. Yeah, we talked about the pressure from this team, the willingness to do the work, and Anderson Julio, opportunistic there, sensing a little bit of a soft pass, and he cuts it off perfectly. And from a difficult angle, he's able to just tap that one in to give them the 1-0 lead. It's time and place for the New England Revolution. They give up a fatal turnover just before the half, and Anderson Julio, who's been putting in all that defensive effort, gets rewarded with one there. 1-0, Real Salt Lake. The 28-year-old Ecuadorian was... Big switch for Kachanis. So effective moving up into an advanced position from his left back spot for RSL. Quinton cutting it away from the pressure of Gil. A Chicho Arango type run, right? He always seems to find himself in those spaces. Speaking of space, Julio finding his own. Does he have a second? It'll go just wide. And I don't believe Ima Chich got a fingertip to it. No, he did not. It's a goal kick here for the Revolution. Kachanis did well to close the space. And now Luna turning away from pressure. Lima had a little tug of the shirt. And this one's going to come all the way back. So instead of a corner. Kachanis with the left foot. Gonzalez with the right. It'll be the newcomer. Flick to the far post. Quinton with his left foot. Deflected it! The 24-year-old center back. 
with his first in an RSL shirt, and it doubles the lead on the night. Tonight, Rogo, whether Brian Barrow would be fit, he wasn't. Philip Quinton gets the start, and you see here just having to go with the left foot on the ball. He catches a perfect deflection. And as good as Ivacic has been, he's got no opportunity as he goes to lay down to change his direction. And that's why you don't want to try to overhit here. You just make clean contact, see what can happen. It's a crowded area. He gets the bounce that he wants, redirected into the goal to give them the 2-0 lead here at home. And wait for New England to try and make that killer pass and hopefully be able to cut it out. New England just looking for the response. Decent service, Katranis to head it away. Circumstances are around the 2-0 lead. Russell Lake have the privilege of sitting back a little bit deeper, but that's also a respect to the quality that Revs have on the field right now. Great ball to the top of the six and headed up and over the cross by, by Arriaga. Will Sands, first time on the ball inside, and it's headed wide by Vrioni. Hidalgo calls his own number. And Ivacic, who had a couple of stern tests in the first half. The crowd behind the Reds goal waiting to erupt. If they could find a third, out in front, and it's off the crossbar. Chang will retrieve it at the edge of the 18, chipping it back in, and Ivacic putting the gloves to it. Ball is what Pablo Mastroini is talking about in terms of his game. Rioni, flag stays down for the moment. Rioni, Beavers with his toughest save of the night. The teenager comes up big. Here is the Spanish captain. Beavers off his line, and that should just about do it. The teenager falls on it, and Gavin Beavers with his third clean sheet in MLS play. 